Hi guys, back again with the latest update on this crazy situation we're doing here. This is just a very quick update on the uh, progress so far on trying to create an Arduino or a, a digital way of controlling the speed of a motor um, through our uh, cheap Chinese um, e-bike controller. So what I've done is I've gone on the internet and scoured the internet for um, ways of controlling an Arduino and outputting a 5 volt uh, signal from an Arduino and being able to control it. And one of the ways I found was using a 10k pot, which is the same pot I used in the last video. Uh, it controls an analog input on the Arduino and then the Arduino sends out a 5 volt, sorry, a not the 5 volt signal depending on the position of the pot. Uh, now I know it sounds a bit silly because we already controlled the speed of the motor using a pot, um, but in this occasion the output is the Arduino and that's the 5 volts that's coming, that's going in to drive the, the motor is coming from the Arduino and the benefit of that is that Okay, at the minute it's being controlled with a potentiometer, but in the future uh, I plan to have the Arduino programmed in such a way that um, we can use buttons to go up and down um, through maybe five or six or ten uh, settings um, to have various speeds. So what I'll do now is turn this on and uh, we'll see what happens. So. We have both um, the connector from the, the the standard throttle is connected in. It comes in in uh, one of these, I guess this one here, comes in uh, from the standard throttle and then goes into the controller. And the input from the Arduino comes into this connector and goes into the controller and basically the two are, are connected in parallel so um, if I twist this throttle we should get the motor should work okay and if I twist this potentiometer the motor should work but because the potentiometer is doesn't spring back I can just leave that running <coughs> and because that's now running if I go to the throttle I can make it go faster and when I release the throttle it goes back to where it was so what I've effectively got at the moment is a um, a version of cruise control which is controlled using this potentiometer um, so if I wanted to have cruise control on the bike I could just connect it up as it is right now um, I would have to figure out a way of getting 5 volts to the Arduino because at the moment it's just going through a, a standard power supply but just if I was to unplug that this would confirm what I'm saying. I'll unplug it from here. There you go. Take power off the Arduino and it stops. Put the power back in again. The Arduino boots up and it's going again. So it's working. Um, the Arduino is outputting a 5 volt or a not to 5 volt pulse which is driving the motor and I can make it go much faster just by turning this knob and turn it right off again. So that's it. That's just a very quick overview of how I've connected this up. Uh, like I said, this is a very, very simple um, program on the Arduino. Um, you can buy, you can, sorry, you can, you can uh, do a search on Google for controlling an Arduino with a, a potentiometer uh, to give a, a PWM voltage output you, so it's, it's very easy to get that um, I just copied it put it into my 
Arduino and uh, copied the um, the connections. As you can see, I've just put this onto a bit of breadboard and soldered it together. So that should be quite easy to shrink down onto a very small piece of vera board or whatever, and, and um, make up a make up a wee control box for it. Um, wires coming out and whatever. That, that, that should all be very easy. But the fact that I've got it all already got it connected on this Y cable means that the um, this can be connected quite easily. So next step is to get this connected onto the current e-bike and um, see where we go from there. At the moment I'm still just using 3S2P I think this is, battery pack to power the windings on this motor. Um, so that's what that's for, the, that's what that's there for and this is the, the main battery, it's two uh, 5S LiPo batteries wired in series, so that's uh, 37 volts or 40 volts or whatever it is. So that's where we are with this and uh, yeah I'm very pleased, it's moving forward. Um, like I said before this is all baby steps, um, we can't, can't do everything in one go and I don't know anything about programming Arduinos so I'm having to basically plagiarize everything, copy everything off the internet and uh, just put it in and see what happens but uh, we seem to have a working system, a, a working way of getting uh, certainly at the moment cruise control and hopefully eventually um, proper um, proper cadence sensor control that's the ultimate goal but f at least at least if there's good operating cruise control that's going to be uh, a big help um, to, to ride in the bike it's sort of the, the, the first step towards cadence um, you can set the speed using a potentiometer and then just cycle along according to that speed um, so it's, it's, it's sort of the, the next best thing to, to the cadence sensor but anyway that's it um, like I said just a quickie to uh, keep you updated and hopefully next time we're back we'll have something a bit more exciting thanks for now Bye for now. Bye.